Uh, Are you sure Salvatore said he waited all night? I told you when I went down to the village, he was just coming back. Well, then something happened to the baby. It has to be that. Maybe the baby was premature. You think? Hey, that could be it. Because she could be trying to call me now and not getting through because the phone's out of order. All right, okay, well, if that's it, what should I be doing? Maybe she's not trying to call. Philip, maybe she was on her way here and the plane went down somewhere in the ocean. What? Well, if it did, we'd never hear about it in this place. Of, of course, eventually, we would hear. The phone would be fixed and someone would no, call. No, India, nobody's going to call because that's the only one that knows I'm here. That's, you know, that's very sweet. Thank you for mentioning a plane crash. I appreciate it. I could call, you know. All I have to do is get off this island and find the phone. If I may make an observation... Must you? All I was going to say is, who do you call? If something really has happened to Beth, you can call her. Everyone else in Springfield thinks you're dead, including Alexandra and mm -hmm. Ross. Right. So who else is there? So what's the point? Aren't you afraid that the minute someone hears your voice, they're going to be running into the streets yelling, He's alive! He's alive! All right, so I can't call. Doesn't mean I'm going to stay around here. If something happened to Beth and the baby, I'm not just going to stay here. I'm going to be with her. Well, you could always go back and cop a plea. Do some time in the big house. Beth can visit you. You know they allow conjugal visits in a lot of... This is not funny, India. No, I agree. It's not. It's tragic. Oh, Philip and Beth. One of the great love affairs of the century Just went asunder up. by the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Well, do you have a plan for going back and not getting caught? Disguise. Yeah, I could go back in disguise. Yeah, what? I've got it. A nun. Granted, you'd be a rather tall nun, but nuns are the best disguises. Trust me, I've had to use them once or twice to avoid some heavy breathing admirers. Philip, everyone loves nuns, no, and no one ever questions them. Well, then you better come up with something. Otherwise, you just may find yourself on this island for the rest of your life with me as your only company. Like a character in an Italian gangster movie. Where did you get your outfit? I got it from Salvatore's cousin. He, he lent me the, the hat and the glasses and the whole thing. His Sunday best, no doubt. Yeah, listen to this. Um, I've been working on this. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, okay, forget it's me. Just forget it's me. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yes, thank you for stamping my passport. No, I have nothing further to claim, although if you wish to check my handbag, you're certainly welcome to do so. Your handbag? My hand, yeah. The, well, what are they called? The things that the British carry, the big leather satchels? That was a British accent. Oh, uh, where did you learn it? I learned it at Lincoln Prep. I played Hamlet. I was pretty damn good. The school newspaper said that I was born to the stage. All right, well, if it sounds phony, then help me. All right, uh... Uh, 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 what, 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 the fair Ophelia? <clears throat> Hamlet doesn't have gas in this scene. Oh, that's He's not... mourning Ophelia. It's pretty damn hard to mourn Ophelia when it's the quarterback of the football team, all right? Well, all right. Then think of Ophelia as a... <laughs> Beth. She thinks you've abandoned her because she can't reach you by phone. She's gone mad and killed herself. Now, now try it again. What am I doing? What are we doing? Have we lost our minds? We're standing around here. I'm dressed up like some kind of idiot. And I'm yelling, Hamlet! And you're acting like Lee Strasberg. This is great. What am I going to do? She could be dead. 